I'll be that friend that sticks closer than a brother. And you know there's none like Jesus today. So there's none like him today. Thank you, Lord.
Jesus, whether it's playing the drums, Nathan can play the drums, whether it's filling in for Brother Seth on the uh, computer, whether it's uh, uh, singing, leading worship, hey, he ain't afraid to do anything for the Lord, and that, that's good. He's kind of like me in regards to that. One day my dad said, does anybody have a special? And I got so tired of seeing everybody in this decent-sized church, nobody wanting to sing. So I said, I'll sing. They said, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to play the piano. I didn't even play a piano, Brother Randy. <laughs> I got up there, and oh, it sounded awful. <laughs> Aaron still remembers that. So if you ever hear Aaron say, there's somebody out there, that's what I played that day, and it didn't sound near like Tommy Bates does. <laughs> Oh, but Aaron still laughs at me to this day. <laughs> he mad about that. But uh, I did. I had just learned like a couple keys on piano. I said, I'm gonna do it. And, but hey, at least I was a willing vessel. Hey, Amen. And uh, that's what Nathan is. He is a willing vessel, and I believe God's got some great things in store for Nathan. Amen. Amen. He does for all of our young people. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I need uh, brother. Wayne, why don't you and Brother Dave come and take up our offering uh, back to this morning? back there. Pixie sticks, we got those for sale for the U5. Those are a dollar piece, so if you want one, feel free to see Seth or Jada, and they'll get you one. And I'll tell you, Jada, you blessed me. You say, how did you, how did I bless you, Pastor? You blessed me because I heard that on our potluck, you would purchase five dollars worth of those, and you were telling people, if you buy a calendar, it comes with a free Pixie stick. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. <laughs> A sacrifice for him. Yeah. Amen. But he was willing to do that to inspire people to buy calendars. Amen. Thank you, Brother Jaden. Amen. Good young man of God. Hallelujah. Uh, let's pray. Father, we just love you. We thank you for this time uh, when we can come to you in the giving of our tithes and offerings. Father, as we approach this uh, month, as we are in this month of November now, Lord, I ask you that you would meet our needs. I pray, Lord, that you'd meet our rent. I pray that you would meet our pg &E. I pray that you'd meet our gas. I pray every need that this church has would be met. Lord God, we pray over the finances of this church that they would be blessed. Lord God, we ask you, Lord, that you would bless those that give, Lord. God, I pray that you would open up the windows of heaven and pour out a financial, spiritual, physical blessing upon them, Father. Lord, we just give you all the praise and all the glory for what you're going to do. In Jesus' name, everybody said, yeah. Amen. 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 Here, Brother Dave. Amen. He is seen this morning. There is going to be a
that trumpet of God sound. Oh, we're caught up to be with Him in the air. Amen. The Bible says we got to comfort ourselves with those words. Amen. There's going to be a meeting in the air one day. Amen. And it's close, church. Amen. It is close. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, at this time, we'll go ahead and uh, I think Sister Miranda is going to be uh, school. The uh, kids will stay in today. Amen. But Mary, we can take a teens out today. Amen. Hallelujah. So as Mary is going, we'll sing another song. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's breakfast still. Yeah, I'm sorry. You got to interrupt me, Denise. Breakfast before you. Doing today, Uncle Ray? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, 
the progression went quiet that night. Okay. This morning he's feeling fairly good. Okay. I thank God for all the prayers. Okay. Amen. Amen. But uh, James, he, he still needs a lot of prayer. Amen. Let's be praying for for uh, James Allen this morning. And also, remember Sister Mariah, uh, she is not feeling good today. So let's be praying that God will just touch her and strengthen her. Is there anybody else today you've got a request you'd like the church to be praying about? Sis Sister Lena? My sister-in-law, they say that she's brain dead and she's uh, she's not hard for a Mormon, but I just want to pray that she's not that brain dead and I can get through to her and that she'll receive the Lord she leaves this world. Amen. 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 Do you remember that request today, Sister Mary? Our little grandson has come out with the flu and it's really bad. Okay. The temperature was at 105 and um, he doesn't really need to touch. Okay. What was his name again? Cash. Cash, okay. okay. Also, I go to the rheumatologist tomorrow. Hopefully, you can find out some answers about my hands and my feet. Okay. Okay. Amen. Uncle Ray, did you? Did you I want to pray for me. Uh, my nerves are on that. Okay. I can't stand that church anymore. Church is paid me. Okay. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a prayer answer in God, isn't he? Amen. Amen. Sister Diane, go ahead, sis. My sister-in-law, Sharon, my sister Kathy, she's in the hospital. She's in the hospital. She's in the She was in a coma, but she came out of the coma. And uh, her left side is paralyzed. She had a little feeling in her left foot the other day, but my brother-in-law said that she still needs a lot of prayer. One thing is good, she's a Christian, her husband's a minister. Just remember them, and God would touch her and her family. And her, and give this time home, John and Sharon and Nebai, that's her brother, her son, back to the Lord. You know, sometimes God has to wake us, shake us, to get us back to the Lord. So remember them. Any of you guys ever heard of that minister named Dr. Tony Evans? Have you ever heard him before? And I didn't know this, uh, what he's going through, but his wife has cancer. And uh, she's at the point where the chemotherapy is not working. And uh, he's a man of God, and uh, his wife is a woman of God. And uh, he said, I'm just trusted in God's miraculous power. But uh, let's be praying for the Evans family. I mean, you know whether you're a pastor with thousands in attendance or you're a pastor with just a, a few people. It does no different in the eyes of God. Everyone has hurts. Yeah. Everyone has pains. Yeah. And uh, we ought to lift him up today in prayer. Amen. Let's keep praying for Brother Bill Underwood. Uh, thank the Lord how far he's come, how far he's coming. I talked to him on the phone the other day, and uh, I told him, I said, I said, Pastor, I said, we want to have you come and speak to us on a, on a Wednesday night after the first of the year because uh, he has church on Thursdays. So, hey, he opened up a door for me and I want to hear his testimony. Amen. I love to hear testimonies, don't you? Amen. Amen. But, but uh, let's keep praying that God will just continually touch him and strengthen him. Amen. Amen. I'll tell you, let's go to the Lord right now. Heavenly Father, Lord... If I even attempt to try to mention all these requests, it would fail. I would fail miserably at it because there's a lot of them. But Lord, not one of them slips your mind. Father, we just lift up every single request and need before your throne today. I pray for Sister Lena's request. Lord, I've seen you speak to people who were in comas. And I've seen them respond through the squeezing of a hand moving of their eyes, Lord. I, I've seen you do things like that. Lord, I ask you that you would give Sister Lena the words to speak as she visits this person. We, Father, I pray that you would be able, that you would give her that time. Lord, anoint her steps to be able to pray with her in the name of Jesus. Guide her steps. Lord, I ask you that you would uh, that you would touch uh, James Allen, Lord, that you just touch his physical and spiritual heart, Father, in the name of Jesus. He needs a miracle. He needs you, Lord. God may he turn to you in this time with all of his heart, soul, mind, and strength. Lord, 
I pray for Uncle Ray today, Father, that you would just touch him. Lord, that you would just touch his nerves. God, that you would give him strength. Lord, I thank you for what you've been doing in my brother and in his family, Lord God. Touch Aunt Jean today. Continue to strengthen her and touch her. Pray for Diane's uh, request, Lord, about her relative, God, that is really hurting right now. God, that you just move on behalf, Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord God, I, I pray, Lord, for uh, for uh, Josiah, Lord. Tomorrow we're going to be going to uh, Valley Children's for a checkup. Give us traveling mercies. Lord, just touch Joe. In Jesus' name, touch his body. Father, I pray for uh, Sister Mariah, Lord, that you just touch my, my sweet sister. In Jesus' name, God, just minister to her, Lord God. Just help her to get over this sickness. In Jesus' name, Lord, just... Give her strength, Lord. Just touch my buddy today. In Jesus' name. Lord, I ask you that uh, you would just continue to have your way throughout this service, Lord. God, I, I pray for cash. I, I pray that you would just help him, Lord God, to get over this uh, flu. Just touch him, Lord. Touch his mama and daddy in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask you that you would touch Sister Mary. Father, I pray that answers uh, would be given. We thank you for doctors. Lord, we pray that you grant them, give them wisdom, Lord, to figure out what is causing these problems in their hands and their feet. And Lord God, I just pray that you just touch her and strengthen her, Lord. God, every request, Lord, those that are spoken, even those that we keep to ourselves, Father, you know all about them. And Lord, we just lift up those needs to you. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen, amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, let's see, Sister Mary, I think they've, they've had plenty of time to eat. Amen. And if not, they need to be like me and be quick eaters. Amen. Amen. But let's give our musicians a hand this morning. Amen. Amen. A lot of times me and Miranda will be sitting down to eat and she's like, where's your food? And I'm like, I already ate it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. I already ate it. <laughs> I was watching this movie, and uh, I think it's called Mall Cop. I think that's it. <laughs> he gets this fork. I want to say it's like an electric fork. Does it shock him after it so shakes. many bites? It oh, it starts shaking. <laughs> and, uh, you know, one thing I have done is uh, we've got normal size forks, and we've got kid forks. And I've tried to eat food with kid forks, just yeah. thinking that I'll eat slower and I'll be more satisfied. But I just need God's help. That's what. <laughs> big fork, little fork, I've still got the same old problem. <laughs> Amen. You